Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the best way to seat a drone reed, in this case a synthetic drone reed, into a drone bottom. Um, these are brand new drone reeds and we're going to be making some changes to them to make sure they fit correctly and give the best tone that they can possibly give. The tools we're going to be using today are a small knife and some hemp. I'm going to be using the black wax temp. You can use yellow wax. I use that for the outer tenors just to help me keep track of which one's which. You can also use dry hemp. Uh, just be sure to use cobbler's wax to make it nice and tacky and sticky. And then if you have them, some dental rubber or orthodontic rubber bands, and I'll show you where to use those here in a bit. So the first thing that we're going to do with these drone reeds is check the fit, and the fit is not great. So most of the time when drone reeds come with this rubber sleeve, it's not going to match your um, reed seat exactly. And mo uh, generally, I just entirely take them off. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take our knife, keep our hand out of the way. You always want to think about how you could hurt yourself if you accidentally slip. So my hand's out of the way. We're taking the knife nice and low, and we're just slowly going to work our way up and cut through the rubber. And so now you can see we've cut through the rubber and so I'm going to start to peel up that rubber sleeve. And so we've got that rubber sleeve started. So this process is the same for cane drone reeds as it is for synthetic drone reeds, uh, just for about really only two differences. So if you're using a cane drone reed, one thing you may consider is taking a nail file or an emery board and filing just the end of it to give the reed some grit so the hemp has something to grab onto. It's not that just that waxy rind that's on the cane. And then the other difference is when you are inserting the cane drone reed into the tenor bottom, in this case, or the base bottom, you don't want to shove with your palm. You're going to want to grab up here and sort of use the reed itself just to prevent breaking the reed or deforming the reed from the pressure of your palm. But these are synthetic, so we don't have to worry about it. Like I said, I'm going to be using black waxed hemp. So the way we are going to start hemping is we're going to use just a little bit of hemp and we'll lay it, get it to where you can see it, lay it in line and get your thumb on top of it. and go ahead and keep hemping it. And this will, laying it over that loose end will lock it in place. And just make sure you're doing a tidy hemp job. And I'll continue on with the rest of that layer. So I've done the rest of this layer now. Um, one thing you'll notice is I left, I guess, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch at the top, and I'm gonna leave the same distance at the bottom. What this prevents is when you actually insert it into the drone, uh, the hemp is not going to compress and roll over the edge since we don't really have hemp stops on drone reeds. And at the end of every layer of hemp, I'm going to do a half hitch knot like you would finish almost any other joint, um, especially because drone reeds can be quite slick and you don't want your hemp to move around, which could make your drone reed fall out. So now that I've got this first layer done, I know it's going to be loose but I want to just see how, how loose it is. We're getting a little bit of grip towards the very end, but we're still not getting a great fit. So I'm going to do another layer now working up the drone reed. So just as I finish up the second layer, I did want to point out these drone reeds come with a taper already in the reed seat. Um, most drones, the reed seat is going to be tapered anyway. So you want to try to match that taper as best as you can with the hemp. So these are already tapered. I'm not going to have to do much with that. But if your drone reeds have a straight tenon, you're not going to want to wrap as far with your second layer as you did with your first. And so that will start to build that taper where you have a straight tenon. So here we have our finished drone reed hemping. We're going to test our fit. And we're getting a good fit. Because it's a synthetic reed, I can get away with this. It's going to hold up. We're not wiggling very much. We might consider just a tiny bit more hemp, but for now, until the hemp really compresses, we're gonna leave it. One reason you wanna leave the loose end 
here is now we're going to cut it. If the joinery does fall out while you're playing for some reason, it's going to catch it because that hemp will be compressed by the stock. So the final thing to keep in mind more for tenor drones than for anything else is when we are setting up a new set of tenor drones, we want them to be seated the same distance. As you can tell, this black one is nowhere near as deep as this outer one. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of hemp off and seat it deeper. But otherwise, that is the best way that I've found to seat a set of drone reeds in your drones. Thanks, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Here's a little bit of extra content, mainly because I am not a professional video maker and I entirely forgot. So one good way to finish and give yourself a nice little boost in the future if you need it is to take a couple dental or orthodontic rubber bands and put them onto the body of your drone reed. So as you can see, I sat them on the sticker. So if for some reason on whether you're competing, playing a parade or something, you're gassed or your drone reeds are not working, what you can do is use these to shut them off without messing with the bridle. Many reeds, easy drones especially, that have the short tongues are very, very finicky with how much you move the bridle. So it can save a bunch of time just using this to shut off a set of drone reeds than it would to actually use the main bridle. And the rest of the time these just hang out here and don't do any harm or cause any trouble.